Hey guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, we're going to be continuing my Meet My Rat series, which is basically a series where I highlight individual rats and kind of talk about their histories and personalities. And in today's video, we're specifically going to be focusing on my rat, Banana. So Banana, as she is called, is a Russian blue Berkshire rat, which basically just means she has gray fur up top and a white belly. And she is quite the feisty little rat. She comes from a semi-local rat rescue, and these guys were amazing. I ended up talking to them several months before I got her and her sister, and kind of inquiring if they had any females who needed homes. And I also asked them if they did any sort of transportation, because at the time, I was not able to meet them. Uh, basically, I was sharing a car with a bunch of family members, and I just wasn't able to make the several hour drive to them and back. So one of their amazing volunteers actually drove the rats three hours to me, which is just crazy to me. I mean, honestly, I fully expected them to say no. I would have understood if they said no because they are quite far from me. So that was just super awesome. The reason they were at the rescue originally was because they were transferred there from a shelter, uh, a mainly dog and cat, I believe, shelter, who was originally given them by their original owner who had bought the rats for one of her kids, I believe. And I think there was an incident where someone got bit uh, which I will tell you was definitely not the owner's fault. Uh, banana in particular is very cage aggressive. That is something that's typically genetic in rats. So you can't really completely get rid of it even with behavior modification. And it does mean that she will always be more likely to bite in certain situations. Um, but that's kind of the story of how she ended up at the rescue alongside her sister Blueberry. And that's the story of how I got them. So once I got them, I did a quarantine with them, and then I introduced them to my older rats. That was a terrible intro for many reasons. It took forever um, because some of my older rats are giant butts. Uh, but specifically, as far as Banana goes, it was a hard intro because Banana was very fear aggressive towards the other rats. She had lived with her sister her entire life, and they did fine together. It's just that she was very nervous around other rats that she didn't know. And this is just kind of a personality trait some rats have. Some rats are just really bad at intros. I've had other rats like this before, but Banana was quite severe, as in she bit several of my older rats quite badly. Uh, thankfully, no one needed stitches or anything like that, but it was a close call. But thankfully, after about two weeks of intros, she fully bonded with my older rats, and so she got to live with them full time. And other than that, she is a pretty sweet little rat. Like I mentioned before, she is severely cage aggressive, so you cannot put things in the cage or reach in the cage with her there. You do need to remove her first, but she's also quite confident with humans, so it's very easy to remove her. You can call her to the front with a treat, give her the treat, pick her up, take her out, and then after that you can do whatever you need to do inside the cage. And her confidence is definitely the thing I love about her most. She is so quick to investigate new things. Uh, she just really likes to explore. She's really good with the other rats now that she's bonded with them. And she's also really easy to handle and pet and so forth once she's outside the cage. She's actually a really tolerant rat when she's outside the cage. It's really only inside the cage that gives her issues or when she's inside like boxes or <laughs> if something's moving too fast in front of her. She does have a few hangups. But other than that, she is a very sweet rat and we have definitely worked on her hangups a lot so she's definitely not as bad as she was several months ago but I still wouldn't say she's really a child friendly rat so to speak and I do think she does really well in this situation where the cage is something off limits I don't reach in there when she's in there I always take her out first so she doesn't feel threatened in that sort of situation but yeah she's a really sweet rat as long as you respect her boundaries and I am just so glad I got her and her sister it was kind of a close thing I almost didn't get them I almost didn't reach out to the rescue uh, but I'm very glad that I did because they were there for quite a while. They got them at, I believe, three months, and I got them when they were seven months old. Uh, so they were there for a few months, and they have really thrived in this environment with all the other rats now that they've accepted them and become friends. And they also really love to train. Banana is so quick to pick up things like fetch or agility. Uh, she's just a really smart little rat. Very food motivated. Very happy to try new things. She's just a really great little rat. And other than her being a little bit spicy in certain situations, uh, she's otherwise a pretty chill rat, honestly. She actually kind of chills out and sleeps for a lot of playtime uh, once she's run around for maybe an hour to get her energy out. So she's not super chill, but, you know, close enough. Anyways, she is an amazing little rat, and I'm so glad I have her. She's currently around 14 or 15 months. I want to say 15 months. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!